Sam Fosto. Sam, he graduated from Denison High School. He officiated football for 35 years, including the OHSA Division I state championship game six years in a row. He officiated basketball for 28 years, working the boys' state tournament eight times and the girls' state tournament twice. He worked the state track and field meet from 1972 to 2000. He's worked the World Games, the Special Olympics in Ohio, the World Games Special Olympics, and the United States Olympic Trials. In 1996, Sammy was chosen as an official at the Olympic Games in Atlanta. He was inducted into the OHSAA Officials Hall of Fame in 1991. Please welcome into the Tuscarawas County Sports Hall of Fame, Sam Fosto. First of all, can everybody see me? <laughs> I feel honored to be here to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I pay a lot of respect to that. I also want to thank my wife, Linda, who we've been married 56 years, and she has put up with my nonsense while I, uh, with all the officiating I did, she put up with it. <clears throat> I was inducted in the Hall of Fame earlier in my life. <clears throat> I, pl I played, believe it or not, you people are going to laugh. I played football. I was starting left guard on the Downson High School football team at 128 pounds. <clears throat> I've been at the Akron Rubber Bowl, when I was selected to work the, uh, the football playoff state game, Fred Daffler, who was assistant commissioner, came in our dressing room, thanked us for being there. Then he turned to me and he said, Sam, you are making football history tonight. You are the first official to work three different state titles. It, it choked me up. Then, <clears throat> at the Olympic trials, I, they put a, a little guy like me, I took the women shot putters out. The top three would qualify for the Olympics a month later. So after the top three were a pick, they decided to take a victory lap. So what they do? They picked me up, <laughs> carried me around the track, and I said to them, ladies, please, this is embarrassing. <laughs> they said, Sam, you love it. <laughs> At the Olympics, one of the events that I took care of was the women 5,000 meter run. We had a practice track outside the stadium. We boarded a bus and go in the stadium. Well, I sat in the back of the bus. A runner from Europe, I forget what country, she sat down beside me. She looked at me and smiled. I smiled at her. Then she took off her warm-up jacket and looked at me again and smiled. I smiled again. <laughs> then I noticed that instead of her competition jersey, she had an old t-shirt on. She reached down, pulled the t-shirt up over her head, naked from the waist up. She looked at me and smiled again. I <laughs> smiled at her. To this day, I don't know where she finished in the race. <laughs> I was very fortunate. <laughs> but at, uh, at the Olympics, a month later, I was able to take, and you track people will enjoy this. I took Michael Johnson, 
the great sprinter in 96. I took him out in the 400 meter dash. He wins the race in world record time. Later in the meet, I take him out for the 200. He wins the race in world record time. The meet was over, walking, walking out of the stadium, Michael Johnson saw me. He walked up to me, shook my hand, he said, Sam, you are a good official. You know how that makes me feel? Two years later, I'm in New York working the World Games. The last, the last event of the, the meet, the 1600 meter relay. Michael Johnson anchors the relay. They win the relay in world record time. People, I'm the only official that's got three world records with me. <laughs> you know, I've been told that I had a great career, and I did have. I never let my size or lack of it stop me from doing the things I felt I could do. I, I enjoy my life. I thank everybody for being here, and I pray God. Thank you.